Hello, Chef here. Once again, another video for you. I want to give you some tips on uh, knife sharpening as well as uh, how to make a brumois. So this is a brumois of zucchini, which is a small square dice. It's a pretty good brumois, uh, one eighth by one eighth inch, but it's not perfect. So I want to show you how to get a better brumois. It starts with having a really good knife. This one's made in Germany. It's like a razor. But uh, also, how sharp is the knife? So let's check it here. Cuts paper. Pretty good. Let's do three cuts. A little bit of resistance on that third cut. Okay, so what I've got here is a diamond sharpening steel. This is the best. This one's made in the USA, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just a real quick hone with my steel. I'm holding the knife approximately 15 degrees angle. That's it. I'm all done. When I'm busy in the kitchen, the sharpening steel is my friend. It's fast. Uh, when I'm not busy, I take my knives and I run them through all the stones. Check out our videos. You can learn a lot more about knife sharpening. Here you go. Three cuts again. One, two, three. The knife is definitely sharper. It goes through this paper very easily, but, but the real test uh, is not paper, it's obviously food. So let's take a closer look here at this awesome baby zucchini. Thank you farmers. Really, really nice. And I want to, uh, let's see, I want to give it a nice brumois. So to achieve that you need a nice flat surface. Cut off the top, cut off the bottom, and for uh, something that rolls on you, like this, you want to try to make it flat first. So to make it flat first, I'll remove the uh, very, very bottom piece like this. There we go. I'll reserve that for something else. Now it's flat. Okay, so for a brumois, I'm gonna, same thing here, remove this. Now I've got a nice square. Okay, for a one eighth by one eighth. There we go, one, Two, three. Okay. Now this this scrap here is still going to get used. I'll show you that in a minute. But this is for my brumois. Now I line them up and I cut them into perfect pieces. With a sharp knife, it's so much easier. Uh huh. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so right there I've got five very consistent pieces and I'm going to give them a small dice like this here. Little baby brumois, okay? You can go faster with a little practice. Oh. Okay, so you can see what I got going on here. That's a really nice brumois and you're only going to achieve that with a sharp knife. If you compare the two of these brumois, what I've got going on here uh, you compare the two of these, this one here is much nicer. Those are a perfect one eighth by one eighth brumois right there. Really, really nice little squares. Okay, so that's the video. I just wanted to give you those tips. Keep your knives sharp. Yeah, score the chef's tools at the sponsor right there. Yes, subscribe right there. Oh, yeah. This is the diamond steel I used. By the way, this one is about 10 years old. It's still going. Uh, this is the red one, the 600 grit diamonds, micro particles. And uh, these are the best. Chef's knives are uh, in stock, super high quality, razor sharp. And don't forget about the butcher block. You cannot have a perfect cooking cuts and techniques and preparation without having a rock maple or other high quality hardwood butcher block. You got to have this. That's it. Get cooking and have a beautiful day. Some of the brumois zucchini, adding a little bit of zest, as well as just a touch of sea salt. 
Oh yeah, a little pepper as well there, yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. <laughs>